Beaching the A5 is a lot of fun. It, it allows you to go to different places you've never been able to go to before. But with that come some additional responsibilities that typical pilots don't have. about to approach the island that we want to beach at. So we're at 500 feet, nice, safe altitude. Uh, we want to do a high recon, check out where there might be people, might, where there might be obstacles in the water, uh, pretty much anything that might affect our um, approaching the beach or uh, specifically egressing the beaches as well. Because a lot of times you can get into a place doesn't mean you can necessarily get out of the same area. It's a nice sandbar along, um, along the way too, which is good. And that's kind of already my first inclination of where I want to go. Sandbars are usually pretty good to, to beach on. So we have an out to the east and we have an out to the west as I approach. So I'm essentially on my downwind now. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to set up to land. So I'm beaching into the wind. Um, again, winds are pretty light. Uh, and then it'll give me a nice safe egress when I once I leave the beach as well. So I'm um, setting up. I'm going power to 3,000. I'm currently at 300 feet. Gears up. Flaps are down. Water rudder is up. Now I'm gonna make my turn towards my final approach. Everything looks good here. Nice calm conditions. So gears up, flaps down, water rudders up. I'm on my final approach. Landing in between the islands with plenty of room for an out on the water. And now I'm just gonna kind of reduce the power a little bit, but what I wanna do is stay on step. So I'm staying on step, about 25 to 30 knots is our ideal step taxi speed. There is a marker in the water, so I'm just kind of getting past that, closer to the sandbar, and then I'm gonna come to idle. Once I'm at idle, I'm going to get ready to essentially egress the plane. So I'm gonna take off my seatbelt. I am going to usually take off my headset. I'm gonna leave my headset on for a little bit longer so I can kind of talk through it a little bit more. And I'm gonna retract my flaps and I'm gonna put my water rudder down, right? So I don't need my flaps. If the winds were stronger, I don't want the flaps pulling me in any direction. I wanna have as much controllability as, as possible as I'm approaching the beach. I'm thinking about when am I shutting down, right? When can I glide safely to the sandbar, to the beach, to wherever I'm going. Typically as I approach, I'm gonna kind of keep my hand on, keep my hand on the ignition and just be ready to cut it quicker if I need to. Maybe someone jumps out or something happens. I'm gonna leave my headset on just a little bit longer as I approach the sandbar and I'm at idle. The other thing you always wanna be constantly thinking of is how close am I to the, the sandbar? How deep is the water? When should I bring up my water rudder? So I'm starting to see the sandbar. So I'm gonna bring the water rudder up I'm going to get a little bit closer, and then I'm going to cut. And it's pretty much knee deep right now, and I'll be able to jump out, get control of the airplane quick, quickly. So ignition's off. Don't forget the master switch. Beaching a seaplane is a unique thing to do. Beaching the A5 is even more unique. Most people have never seen anything like it before. Yes, it's fun, you know, it allows you to go different places, experience new things, you know, that fun adventure part that we all love about the plane. But you should still consider there are, are challenging things with being in the open water, ocean water, and beaching the aircraft. So we just left the beach and what you notice is I waited to close the canopy, I waited to put my seatbelt on, I waited to put on my headset before I was clear of the people at the beach, I was clear of the boaters, I was everything directly in front of me was clear. So well, initially when you start and you leave the beach, you want to make sure that you essentially are ready to bail out if you need to, worst case scenario. So I started up, I taxied around, left everything open, left everything off, and once I was clear I put everything on. So area looks clear, we're just going to take off straight ahead. So gears up, flaps down, water rudders up, trim is reset for the takeoff position. So we're good there. Left and right is clear. Here we go.